Alright, so in this short video, I'm going to go ahead and show you some hidden preferences for Mac OS X. Now, if you're like me and you constantly adjust your Mac experience using system preferences, then you'll probably know that you can modify a lot. However, if you've ever felt that you've wanted to modify more than it's available to, than it's available to you, you can now using Secrets. Secrets is pretty much a database of hidden settings for Mac OS X. The link is secrets.blacktree.com and I'll be including the link in the video's description just in case. So yeah, once you reach the site, all you have to do is download the preference pane right over here. And the only issue you might find is that it's only for Mac OS X Leopard. So if you're using Tiger or Below, you will have difficulty. You won't be able to do this. But if you're up to date, you should have no problem. Once that's done, simply go to your system preferences and you'll see under other once you've installed the preference pane you'll see secrets installed click on it and and the preference pane window will appear showing all the modifications you can make to your system on leopard you've got login window you've got scroll bar type you have the debug menu for safari the dock appearance minimize effect in fact you can make the dock two dimensional if you if you wish if once you save. You've also got system settings, the dock, energy saver, finder, very 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 detailed settings you can work on for different applications. And if you're like me and you download some third-party applications, which is obviously normal, such as Skype for example, you can access some hidden settings if there are some available for that program. For example for Skype you can hide the splash screen or show the dock icon. You can you have those options. It's very simple if you're unsatisfied with your settings to place them back simply go to revert and you'll be able to put it back to its previous state and if there are some new more stable secrets available you'll always find them here and if not you can always update your secrets from the touch of a button it's that simple now a word of advice do use this application responsibly because it's known to cause issues if used repeatedly excessively in a way that is harmful to the system you may end up with lots of errors so, again, if that's the case, you can revert, but if it gets to a point where you can't revert, again, you've got to be careful to make sure that doesn't happen. So be very responsible when using this application, even though the chances of a potential system failure are very slim. So, again, when this application is used the way it ought to be, you know, lightly, but still effectively, it is very, very, very useful. So, yeah, again, that is the Secrets Preference Pane for Mac OS X Leopard. Again, the link will be on the description, and I hope this helps.